Oh hey there, welcome back to my channel. Thanks for clicking on another video, Dr. Sarah here. And today I'm gonna to be giving you my tips on meal prepping. I've been meaning to do this video for a while because damn, these are about to be good. If you haven't watched my video on why I think most people should meal prep, if not everyone, um, then go watch it because well, if you want, you don't really have to watch that. But yeah, I love meal prep is what I'm trying to say. I think that it helped me to achieve my fitness goals and it helps me to continue living a fit and healthy lifestyle with minimum effort. I don't think I would have kind of the self-control and dedication and I don't know, yeah, I'm not sure if I'd be able to do it as well if I didn't meal prep. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to meal prep. No, I'm not going to be showing you actually, because I, I've done my prep for the week already. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but I'm going to be telling you how to meal prep and just giving you some really basic tips that you can avoid the common mistakes and avoid any confusion and stress because, you know, if I've been through it, then that means that you shouldn't have to go through it because we're internet friends and I've got you. So yeah, without further ado, let's get into the video. If you like videos like this, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment letting me know what you think, click subscribe for more videos and yeah, let's get into it. The first step is to sort out your storage. Now this one is a bit annoying because you might be in many different situations where you don't have that much storage but we'll go through this as I discuss this first tip. So what I mean by storage is fridge and freezer. You need fridge and freezer space in order to be able to meal prep otherwise you're going to make all these meals and they're just going to rot, they're just going to sit and rot. Sit down, rot on the kitchen counter. That's not what we're doing this for. You need to be able to store them. And I truly highly recommend that you invest in fridge and freezer space. You don't need some top of the line, you know, Gordon Ramsay freezer. You just need the space, okay? A fridge is enough. A freezer is ideal because it can last, my meal preps last ages in the freezer. I don't even time them. I do what I want. Fridge and freezer space is key. And I know for some of you, if you're living in shared accommodation, that can be difficult. But what I recommend that you do is maybe even swap. Generally, when I lived in a student house, we had fridge space and cupboard space. So if you just say to your housemates, just say, I actually use a lot of freezer space, but I don't really use that much cupboard space because I meal prep. So all my stuff is actually stored in the freezer. Like, do you want to swap a bit of your freezer drawer for my cupboard or something like that? Just find a way to make it work. If not, try and invest in a little portable, tiny fridge freezer thing that you can like keep in your room or whatever. They don't cost crazy amounts and often they are given away for free because they are that kind of item that someone buys for temporary use and then when they move somewhere else they have no use for. So often you might just find them on Gumtree being given away for free. So yeah, make sure that you have enough space um, to store your food, whether in the fridge or freezer or both, ideally both as I'll explain as we go on. So yeah, storage, storage, storage is important. The second tip, speaking of storage, is Tupperware. Get some Tupperware. It doesn't have to be expensive. It can be super cheap. It can be leftover Chinese stuff. Although I assume that there's probably a reason why you shouldn't use those, but if there is one, I'm not aware of it and I'm still alive. Now, don't go crazy with this because you can spend a lot of money on Tupperware and especially if you're just starting out, just get something cheap. I recommend any big supermarket like Tesco or Asda, they'll just have like, I think it's three for five pounds, last I checked, or five for three pounds or something. But I have loads of these, let me show you. I literally have a whole drawer dedicated to Tupperware. I store them all just kind of piled on top of each other. They start to discolour after a while, but that's fine because they're just there. I know that they're clean. They're gonna discolour when you put different kinds of food in there. Um, but yeah, I just stack them according to their sizes and types. Um, and then I put the lids underneath them. So it stores away in a really kind of space space preserving manner and I don't lose my lid so I'm not like which Tupperware goes with which lid because I literally just stack them on top of each other and put the lids underneath so I always know. Again I just have all different shapes and sizes this has been built up over a few years okay so don't go cray you only need probably like maybe five ten to start with and um, different types so yeah. Awesome, so once your storage is sorted, we can move on to the actual meal prep. Now the first step that you need to take is to plan what meals you will make, okay? I can't stress this enough because I have been so guilty of this. Going to a shop being like, yeah, I'm gonna do a meal prep. You're picking up all these healthy food items. I'm gonna have that, I'm gonna have this, I'm gonna have that. You get home and you've got the whole of Holland and Barrett's in your kitchen, but not one meal. Not one meal makes sense. So make sure that you start with a meal in mind and then buy the ingredients that you need for that meal, okay? So say if you're doing, I don't know, what's the standard one? Um, sweet potato, chicken, and some kind of vegetable. 
what spices do you need to flavor that? Just make sure that you've got everything for one meal. Make sure that you know what your goal is before you start prepping. Because if you just start trying to cook items and then make them into meals, it can be really stressful and you can also end up with some pretty minging meals, which brings me on to my next point, which is to, <laughs> this is gonna sound dodgy, um, not dodgy, just unusual, but just only make meals that you like. Now, I would say that's probably my number one healthy eating rule. But I once told that to my brother and he told me that was a terrible healthy eating rule to only eat food that you like, but it comes in context. Um, when it comes to meal preps, I really encourage you to only meal prep stuff that you actually want to eat. When I've made a meal prep that I haven't already tried before, which I do quite often, and it tastes not great, meal preps have been known to stay in my freezer for months for months because I don't like wasting food but I also don't want to eat that crap so it just sits there and it's really a waste of space, it's a waste of money, a waste of food and it won't help you achieve your goals okay so make sure that if you are making something, putting all this time and effort and money into these meals make sure they're ones that you want to eat otherwise you're not going to eat them you're going to get to the next week and be like oh all I have for lunch is this broccoli soup that I don't want so guess what I won't eat it and it will all have just be for nothing so make sure that you like the food that you're going to make and um, my next tip is to store the food away straight away now <laughs> this might sound obvious always serve out your food and store it away the same day that you make it, okay? So meal prep can be just making a massive amount of food and saying, oh cool, I've got enough for seven meals. But actually, if you don't portion it out, then you're at risk of overeating on your portions when you do go to eat it. You're at risk of having that massive amount of food go off because you haven't stored it away. Um, and it's also less convenient to just have a massive pot of food. So as soon as you finish cooking, for example, your big pot of jollof rice, Portion it out, portion it out according to how much you want to eat, put it in the tubs, um, you can leave it to cool first, obviously leave it to cool before you put it in the fridge or the freezer, um, but then put it away. Um, don't leave it out on the side, don't leave it in the pot, don't reheat in the pot because you're just going to put yourself at risk of like eating gone off food with bacteria growing on it. Make sure you portion it out, okay, because meal prep is not just about controlling what you eat, it's also about controlling your portion sizes. So this is meal prep, not food prep put it into individual meals so that you avoid all the pitfalls that can happen by just making a lot of food and kind of leaving it there and expecting that you will just get around to eating it at the right time in the right portion size without it going off, okay? So definitely put it away. Oh, and just as an addition, um, what I tend to do is I make a lot of meals at once and I will put about three in the fridge and the rest go in the freezer. The reason for that is I can eat um, those three in the fridge over the next couple of days. I don't tend to leave fresh food in the fridge for more than a couple of days. You know, go by, it depends on what you're eating, depends on what you made, go by your own risk assessment. I personally definitely edge on the riskier side. I leave food <laughs> for way longer than people say you should, but you know, guess who's still alive? Thank you, Jesus, very you, Grace. Um, but yeah, so that is my other tip, is to put the food away as soon as you make it. My next point is to mix it up. So mix up your meals. Don't be stuck with plain rice, broccoli, and chicken for the rest of your days. That is not your portion, in Jesus' name. Be blessed be fruitful, be happy. So I really recommend that you mix it up. So what I like to do is I make no less than three different meals each time that I meal prep. Now, I've been prepping for a while. I can deal with lots of different things going on. So if that sounds crazy stressful for you, don't worry. And um, what I would recommend that you do do though, is that you don't make an insane amount of one type of meal because you will get so sick of it, okay? You wanna be able to enjoy these and you don't wanna eat the same thing every day. If making three different meals in one go sounds like stress to you, which is, to be honest, completely normal, um, then don't. Simply prep as you cook. Now, what I mean by that is the next time you make dinner, for example, say if you're gonna make a bolognese, instead of making one portion, just make three. Then you just made enough for three portions, you ate one, you put two in the freezer, and then maybe on Tuesday you were gonna make I don't know, lasagna for dinner? Um, make enough again for three. I don't know that anyone makes a one portion lasagna. What kind of life would that be? But yeah, make enough for three, portion the two, put them in the freezer. And then maybe on Wednesday you're cooking, maybe you're making some pepper soup. Maybe you like your Italian and Nigerian cuisine like myself. <laughs> Um, so you're making your pepper soup, just make a portion enough for say four and um, put three in the freezer. And then when Thursday comes around, you've got a choice between eating pepper soup, lasagna or bolognese. Is that what I said? Do you see what I mean? So what I'm trying to say is, don't just make 
12 meals of bolognese because unless you like live bolognese you'll want to change it up you don't need crazy amounts of variety trust me i eat the same thing most of the time but a little bit of variety will help you to enjoy these so change it up mix it up sometimes i even mix it up just by swapping the proteins from two different meals or swapping the vegetables just something so that each time i open the tub i don't really know what i'm getting i just know i'm getting something that i like because back to my other point i only make food that i like and I know that it's healthy. And um, so yeah, change it up. And then my last tip for now um, on how to meal prep well is to not overcomplicate it. Don't overcomplicate it. I know that that sounds rich when I've just probably made it sound quite complicated, but meal prep is not that deep. And please, oh my gosh, if I ever make you feel like I'm fancy or like I'm a food judge or, or I don't know, or as though it's some big skill that you have, I genuinely apologize. Like, food is for everyone. You do not have to be Gordon Ramsay in order to make healthy food. No one else has to like your food. If someone else frowns at your food, then count your blessings, because it means that they won't ask you for some, and you don't have to share it. Um, so yeah, just don't overcomplicate it. You can prep what you want, you can prep how you want, you can make it your own. You don't have to do it exactly the same way that I do it. Just keep it chill. Like I said, maybe next time you make dinner, just make a bigger portion than you usually would, and split it in two it can really be that simple and every little helps if you find prepping for the whole week stressful don't <laughs> just prep for the next day or two days or whatever you can manage meal prep doesn't have to be that deep it's no one's place to judge how you prep okay unless like you're hurting other people by your prep which i don't know how you could do that but you got what i mean it's like no one else's business so just enjoy it and make it your own and don't stress like life is too beautiful to be stressed about meal prep of all things um, so yeah I really hope that these tips have helped please let me know in the comments if they have and um, let me know any questions that you might have and I can do another video addressing them or just reply to them if they're like pretty niche um, <laughs> but yeah let me know any other questions you might have about meal prep and healthy eating and stuff and I sincerely hope that's helped thank you so much for watching I really appreciate your friendship and support on this channel like I know I I sometimes struggle to say that in a way that fully expresses it but I seriously appreciate you and the fact that you watch my videos and so, you know give thumbs up and stuff thanks for being nice it's really it really means a lot when people are nice so thank you for being nice to me I can we'll stick to meal prep sorry I went off topic and I got emotional yeah thanks okay love you bye to doing a good meal prep is to rhyme cause it ain't a crime uh, that's all I got time for cause I ain't got any more wow I'm not a rapper anyway first, first tip to doing a good meal prep